everyone suffers at least one bad betrayal in their lifetime. It is what unites us. The trick is not to let it destroy your trust in others. When that happens, don't let them take that from you. Samora Masher said that. I want us to watch this video, ladies and gentlemen. Then after that, we are going to carry on with our analysis. The United Nations must continue to preserve peace, prevent conflict and alleviate human suffering. And we embrace nations stepping up to lead new ways and to seek new breakthroughs on hard issues. For example, on Haiti, the Caribbean community is facilitating a dialogue among Haitian society. I thank President Ruto of Kenya's, I thank him for his willingness to serve as the lead nation of a UN-backed security support mission. I call on the Security Council to authorize this mission now. The people of Haiti cannot wait much longer. If you watch the video, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome back again to our YouTube channel, Zion Kenya TV. Personally, I'm doing great, as you can see, and I believe that this video is going to find you well wherever you are. Consider to subscribe, watch the video, like the video, give us your opinion as you normally do at the comment section below as you share the channel. And I want to appreciate you guys for the great effort that you are doing for supporting this channel through your subscription, like, and also providing your watch hours. Actually, you've made this channel to grow bigger as it as it is growing. May you continue with the same spirit. Why don't you ask yourself why today I begin with Samora uh, Marshall quote? He added by saying that when you see West Africans praising you, you know that I've betrayed you, my people. I want to talk about this young gentleman, William Samoy Ruto, the president in the Republic of Kenya. Ruto seems to pretend that there's nothing wrong in Kenya. Ruto seems to pretend that Kenya is at a good condition. But the truth is that this man knows how to play his cards. Why do you think Joe Biden addresses William Samuel Ruto or gave him proud of praises in public or internationally? Why do you think he had been recognized in Africa and also in the United Nations in New York City? So that is what we want to discuss today. Before I do that, if this might be your first time at Zion Kenya TV YouTube channel, I also request you just take a one second and click the subscription button and subscribe. In that next time when I upload you such kind of a video, the video will automatically come to your YouTube platform. We always believe we deliver you the best on our political basis and the rest plus the words of advices. Welcome all of you to Zion Analysis. Ruto seems to have sympathy to the West Africa. And that is what Samora Marshall said once in life before, before his death. As I displayed that writing while I begin. Trust in is earned. That is what we should know, ladies and gentlemen. Respect is given and loyalty is demonstrated. But betrayal is what any of those uh, documents that when we portray in our lifespan today, then we can lead to a very destructive picture in our economy. So that is what Trudeau seems to do. He went to United States of America and begged praises. I can use that term. Because what is happening in Kenya is not reflected to what the United States of American president have said. You can ask me why. Not that I'm tribalism. Not that I love uh, one side of politics. No. But let us remain firm and say the truth. In Kenya, people are suffering. 
when it comes to the issue of security, where we are seeing Joe Biden seems to praise William Samai Ruto, this is just a clue or a drafted plan which these people had planned together with a uh, US ambassador, according to my viewpoint. It's, it means Ruto went and influenced Meg that when you go to US, tell your boss to praise me. Can you ask yourself why not Museveni? Why not? Uh, why not uh, uh, people from South Africa, President, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Rwanda, Burundi? Why Ruto? That is another question we have to ask ourselves. Let us not be blindfolded by politicians. It is very clear that I am. F and World Bank, as I said two weeks ago, is having a secret deal plan in Kenya. And if these people begins to hunt you or to play with you on a trip, my friend, country will run into a very wrong direction. Can you ask yourself why is Uru did not make himself to associate internationally? Uru only paid a visit and discuss on the issue of trade period. But this man that we have need wants to be praised, wants to be recognized, want to be several things he want in life. So that is what Samora Machel once said, that when you see West African people begins to praise me, know that I have betrayed you. It means Ruto have betrayed Kenyans. That is true. As we speak, the bipartisan is still carrying on at Pomas. Yes? All right. It is yes. Which we are still hoping it will succeed or not succeed. People will get back to the demonstration. As we speak, the lifespan of Kenyans, high living standard, is really, really affecting major Kenyans. We are being overtaxed. We are being distracted. We are, the, the investors are also being threatened. They are being uh, overtaxed, they run away, leaving Kenyans jobless. That is also the best picture we can portray that Ruto have betrayed Kenyans. Another one, the full the promises he made during campaigns have not been fulfilled. It's just trying to complement Oru's project. Have we not been betrayed? Ladies and gentlemen, let us try to open our eyes and ask ourselves why Ruto it means he has a secret business which is doing with the United States of America. And this secret plan is sealed, have been confirmed, but not yet be announced in public. So that is why we saw Joe Biden praises him, have been silenced for now. And I was attentively following this. So today I, I did my analysis and I came to realize that Ruto has a secret deal with the US. What is this secret deal? Kenyans, this is what is it. As I said, let me read for you this thing. As I said, there is something there is something that we don't understand. Uh, this is what we fear. I love this man. This is what Samora Machel said. Do not fear your enemies. The worst they can do is kill you. Do not fear your friends. A worst they may betray you. Fear those who do not care. They neither kill nor betray. But betrayal and murder exist because of their silent consent. Why am I using that word? Ruto fears the enemies. Ruto fears the West African people. That is why he wants sympathy from them. This is the beginning of falling in Kenya Kwanza government. Ladies and gentlemen, because it is late, I want to rest my analysis at this point. 
as I'm eagerly waiting for your opinion at the comment section below. Meanwhile, what can you say on today's analysis? I've well explained why Ruto and why is Ruto betraying Kenya. Bye bye as we hope to meet on another analysis.